Hey guys, welcome back. Now, if you have watched the unboxing video already, then great, you can continue watching. But if you haven't, go and watch that first. And once you have, we can continue on how to set up this printer. So let's get to it. So the first thing you need to do here is load in your filament. Now in the unboxing video, I did show you how to do it, but just in brief, you're gonna take it from here, feed it through your filament sensor, and then onto the front and repeat it for the other side. The next thing we need to do is go ahead and move on to our control panel. Okay guys, so we're gonna lock off on the screen over here. And then once we've done that, we're gonna go through the entire menu settings that are on the printer to get you started. Now we're gonna run through each um, icon one by one, just so that you can see exactly what's available on this and how we're going to set it up before we push print and do auto leveling and so on and so on. So the first thing we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna start from the right hand side and you just go ahead and push on printing. Then you either using a USB or an SD card and you just click on either of those two settings um, or options. And then you can go ahead and select the item that you wanna print. So let's go back and let's move on to settings. So now within settings here, you've got a, a setting that you shouldn't be touching. Um, then you've got your fan. Now this is to either increase it um, you know, to full or below that, maybe at 50%. And you can go ahead and just use these two options here. So for instance, if you want 50%, we click on 50 um, and then it should change there or 100 um, and then it will change to 100% there. Um, keep in mind that you need to touch this thing straight on and not from the side. Um, otherwise it might not respond to your touch. So we go ahead and we go back from here. So the next thing we've got here is about, now that's just about the software on this. Then you've got motor off. If you click this, then it allows you to move the whole head system up, left, down and right without damaging the motors because maybe you need to do some uh, maintenance and you need to switch them off. If they're on currently, you won't be able to move because the motors are engaged. The next thing we've got here is configuration. Now, this is just going to configure a whole bunch of settings. Um, basically, if we go ahead and we click on that one, we've got acceleration and maximum speed. So if you're not happy there, you can go and adjust them. I don't recommend changing these settings. The next one is our motor settings. Now that's adjusting our motors within increments so that if you see one is out, you can go and adjust that. Your leveling settings, so now that's for the auto leveling. Uh, we can go in there and you can do it manually. You can do it the auto. Um, you can do nozzle to probe offset so that you can adjust your BLT and how far it's meant to go down and how accurate it is offset the Z axis as well, which helps so that you don't have to redo it every single time you go to print. Okay, then our last setting here is our advanced settings. So we can go in over there. Um, and then that's the printing pause position setting. So basically that you can either set it to pause exactly where you told it to pause, or it comes back to home, which is here in the corner closest to the screen. Um, then you've got your filament settings. So that there in its own is basically setting the amount of filament that comes out of the nozzle and that's setting the motor speed. So if you're wanting it to have more flow rate, then you increase it. Um, and then you've also got your unload and um, load speed and length. And now that's basically when you want to change your filament, you change how much it spits back out or feeds back in and then you can manually push it or pull it out from there. Then you've got your filament temperature. Now that basically is just the preset. So when you do a preheat, it's gonna preheat to 200 straight off the bat and that's for your nozzle. Okay, so now that we are finished in that one, um, your next one is language, which is obviously set to English. You can then go and change it to whatever language uh, you would like. Um, and then you've got your Wi-Fi setting, which we're not currently using in this episode. So we're going to go from here straight to back to the main screen and we're going to go ahead and go to our tool. Now, just before we go there, I want you to pay attention to the bottom two images here. You've got your bed. Now, keep in mind that symbol. 
that is your bed and this is your nozzle and you have nozzle one and two in the same area because this is a shared nozzle that uses two colors it'll always show one and not two next to it so now we can go ahead and go straight to tool okay so now that we're here the first one that you see there is temperature and then you've got extrusion move home auto level filament and preheat now uh, many of these options you might not be using but the first one we're going to uh, highlight on is temperature now if we go into temperature this is basically going to do a preset temperature for either abs or pla if you're going to preheat your machine you'll go and manually add this and you can go ahead and change your 10 to be one degree increment five degree or back to 10 again and you can either go plus or minus and then if you want to change over to the bed temperature you just go ahead and click on where it says extrusion and then you'll see bed will pop up and then you adjust that separately so from here we're going to go back and we're going to move over to extrusion now this basically is pulling your filament in or out and you can set at what speed as well and the distance as well so if you feel like that you want to change your filament and you want to change it from only pulling out five millimeters um, and at what speed do you want it to slow it down increase it you can go and make the adjustments here and then once you're finished you can also say load it in or load it out manually via these buttons here um, rather than just pushing the leaf spring and pulling the the filament out which you shouldn't be doing you should rather use the unload setting um, from here we go back and then we go to move and now basically this is if you don't want to disengage your motor you can go ahead and move it in any of the direction that you see so that you can possibly just do a manual uh, leveling and you can do it all by here by just clicking on the options you have available keep in mind that you need to have your machine in origin position first before you go and move any of this and adjust your Z axis as well. And you can also just change the increments to which it happens. So that's how you use this control panel. Then we're gonna go out from there and clicking home which means it just takes you straight to home. Um, then you've got auto level. Now, uh, if I click on this, which we're gonna do just now, it will start the auto leveling procedure, which will then level the entire bed so that the printer knows in certain areas to either lift or go down accordingly so that you have one single level layer of printing i did actually explain auto leveling in the previous video the unboxing video if you haven't watched that please go and watch that so that we can then go back to this video and just start with the printing right so now we need to go to filament the first thing we need to look at here is unload and load option and our extrusion number one. Now we have only got one nozzle so that stays the same and this is to load or unload your filament to change the color. Now I always recommend before you finish printing you want to unload your filament so that there's no excess plastic melted or solidified incorrectly in the head so that when you start a new job you're going to load in your your filament before you go ahead and do auto leveling so that you've got your filament ready and you know it's being flowed through correctly then you've got uh, your preheat option so if we click on that that's just going to go ahead and if we want to print with abs um, abs and pet are going to be the same material or you can go ahead and use pla which is a softer weaker plastic which is great just for modeling if you're going to be doing something that's a moving part i would recommend using abs or petg purely because it can withstand 110 degrees plus which is great for signage which is the actual reason for this printer so we can go ahead and just preheat the bed maybe you want to just clean the bed so you want to warm it up so that you can scrape off all the glue or you want to preheat just the nozzle so that you can go ahead and just change the filament and then get ready to do some printing um, from here we're going to go back and then we're going to go and start our preheat procedure and once we've preheated you're going to go and do your auto leveling so we're going to go ahead and preheat for both so i'm going to go over to temperature 
I'm gonna go start with my bed. I would like to up that to increments of 10 and I want this to be on 50 degrees Celsius. Next one is the extruder and we are, because I'm not choosing PLA or ABS, I'm doing this myself. I'm also gonna go increments of 10 and we're gonna go all the way to 220 degrees Celsius. Okay, so now that we're at the correct temperature to preheat the machine, and I am happy with that, um, we're going to need to clean the nozzle as soon as we see a bit of plastic come out. If you have pushed your filament all the way to extruder, if you haven't, then you won't need to do that process. So in order to start printing, what we need to do is go ahead and you need to find your USB stick that was included with the printer. Now on this little micro memory stick here, which is what we're going to be using, should be a sample print preloaded from the manufacturer for you to do a test to see if your printer is leveled and working correctly. There afterwards, we are going to get into the program in another episode and show you how to start designing the prints for this printer but we just need to do a test. So let's go ahead and put this puppy in and see what she can do. Okay. All right, so now we've got the memory stick put in. We need to go ahead and push on printing and then we're gonna go ahead and click on SD card and there we've got our sample print there. And all we're gonna do is click on it and we're going to say print this model and we're gonna say confirm. And there we go. So now all of our settings now appeared on the screen. So what we can do is while it's printing, we can go ahead and push pause and then replay as in continue printing. We can stop the printing completely or we can go into our options screen over here. And then it brings up our temperature, filament, fan, speed and our Z axis tuning. Now that we've got that, our head is currently moving over to our origin point and it's gonna be getting ready to start printing soon. So it's gonna to come to origin, don't be afraid. Um, what we're gonna go ahead here is you can go ahead and see your speed that you're printing. You can increase it, decrease it, it's up to you. You can change the increments over there as well. Um, I'm gonna leave it as it is and you can see you can change it just like that. We're gonna go back. Then our next thing is filament. We can load in and unload if we want to change color, if we have already made a mistake and we don't want that color. Then what we can do is push on temperature and now this can change the temperature for your nozzle or the actual hotbed itself um, and that you can do on the fly or change increments. Uh, we go back there and then we can also do manual movements and then we can adjust our flow from the extrusion, which I don't recommend doing, but you can do. You can go and fiddle in those options if you want. Um, and yeah, the same as what we had in our actual settings menu. Um, from there, we can go back and just absolutely enjoy watching the print happen. So it doesn't matter where your print head is sitting, it will come from wherever it is to the corner here to origin. Then it's going to set the head all the way down to zero. And then once the printer is at temperature, which it is currently now, as you can see, it's unloading a filament and loading one in, and it's going to spit some plastic out of the nozzle over here, and then it's going to cut it off. And that basically is to make sure that there is plastic being actually fed through, and you can see that the color is actually there. So as you can see, this one is feeding in now, and hopefully it will feed through some plastic through the head. And there we go. And now it will pull it back out again and it will load in our first color because that's the orientation it does. It always does this one first and this one second. Okay, so now that it's finished that, it's now moved over and it's gonna start printing our test model that came with the machine. Now, while that is printing, I do wanna just let you know that the two glues that came with the machine, the little print look like, and this liquid glue you do have to pre-apply to the glass um, just so that the plastic has something to adhere to because the glass is such a smooth finish when the glass goes cold again and you've pushed pause on your print it will then dislodge from the glass and just move out the way that we don't want if somehow the printer is paused because it's run out of plastic 
and you only notice an hour later. When you come back and you restart your print, at least your print will still be attached to the bed. And then when it's completely cold and the job is finished, you just use a little scraper to lift up one corner and the whole job will separate off the bed. So guys, while this is actually printing, you can go ahead and have a look at your control panel. On the top right hand corner, you've got a status bar that basically tells you how much you've completed within the job. Keep in mind that this can take absolute hours and hours to complete, or it can take minutes. It depends on the design you've done. So I'm not gonna stick around for the entire print job. I just have a look at the first three to four layers. If they're all equal, and straight then I know that the bed has been leveled and the setup is complete. So the last thing that I need you to do is go ahead and get one of these, do some tests, have some fun. Thank you for watching this video and as always enjoy. <music>